Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you've not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. For today's video, I have an Abercrombie haul for you guys. I picked up a bunch of amazing, cute little pieces for the end of summer, moving into fall, so I hope you guys are excited to see everything that I picked up. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting me know what else you guys would like to see from me. As always, I will definitely be sure to link all these pieces down in the description box. My Instagram, TikTok, podcast, camera details, outfit details, all that great stuff will also be linked down below. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's start out with dresses because... I found some really cute ones. So first is this little sweater dress and I have to be honest, I'm actually not sure how I feel about it because I think it is stunning. But I guess, let me just show you guys and I'll explain myself later. So it is this beautiful little sweater dress and it is a midi length. It is so pretty on. I absolutely love the shape. It's got this really cool detail with two little keyholes in the front. It is a v-neck in the front as well as the back. I love the straps. They're very like just dainty and girly feeling. And it also has a big slit in the front as well. I picked it up in a size extra small petite and it fits perfectly. I really like the length on me as well. The only thing that I'm unsure of is I love the color. I think the color is so pretty on, but I also feel like it's almost a little too thin to be like this cream color. So I might have to go back and just pick it up in a different color. I believe this came in black as well. And as much as I love the cream, I just don't know that I'm like comfortable enough in it, if that makes sense. But I still think it is a beautiful dress. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think it's like too thin to be that color or can I get away with it? Let me know. I also picked up a really cute little shirt dress. I think I only really have one other shirt dress like this and it's really short on so I wanted to try this whole thing out again. I've never really been able to figure out a shirt dress but I really like this one. Oh just kidding I have that really cute linen one from Lulu's that I love but that's like a short sleeve one. This is like a proper long sleeve shirt dress. I love this print so much. It is a gorgeous green and white striped print has buttons down the front like your typical shirt dress and then it also has a pocket in the front as well. The sleeves are really cute. I love how boxy it is. I picked it up in a size extra small petite because I did read the reviews and they said that this is a pretty long shirt dress so I do love the length of the petite. I will say I wish I got a size small petite instead because I would like it to be a little bit boxier just in the waist and everything but I think it is a very cute little shirt dress and it's very lightweight as well. So I think it's a great piece for end of summer and moving into fall. And I can see myself styling this so many different ways. The last dress that I picked up is actually this beautiful black maxi dress. Another one that I'm like really conflicted. I can't tell if I like love it or just like it. <laughs> I love the fabric. First of all, the fabric is just gorgeous. It's very like flowing, very beachy. I love that it's black also. I believe this one also came in a few different colors, but I just live and die and breathe for black. <laughs> I love it. I love the little ruffle details as well. The strappiness is also very cute. It also has adjustable straps, which you guys know that I always love and appreciate. It does have a little bit of elastic here in the bust as well. It fits really comfortably. I got it in the size extra small and the fit everywhere is great. The only thing that I don't love is I feel like it is a little bit short. Look at how pretty the bottom is though, like just so much fabric. It's so stunning. So I can't decide. I feel like I need it to be a little bit longer, but I almost feel like if I ordered a long, I'm pretty sure this came in a long, I feel like it would then be too long and I'd have to wear it with heels. So just kind of one of those things where height might not work for me. Um, but I do think it is a really pretty dress and I just, I don't know, I'm conflicted. I think it's beautiful, but I can't decide if it's the right length on me. So again, weigh in down in the comments, please. It is lined as well, I should mention that, but the lining is a little bit shorter. It just goes to that like first ruffle, which is also a detail that I appreciate. 
that it is as long as this ruffle detail because I feel like it's not as obvious that it's lined. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I feel like sometimes it just looks weird if the lining only goes to like here and this material is pretty see-through as you guys can see. So there's just like this weird like cut off see-through kind of detail that you can see. You can tell it's lined. That's what I'm trying to say. They did a good job of making sure that you don't see the lining. So good job, Abercrombie. I appreciate that kind of attention to detail. All right, let's move on to jeans because I know that's what everybody's here for. I picked up some jeans from Abercrombie. These are the 90s straight ultra high rise. I'm trying out this style again. <sighs> Uh, Abercrombie and their sizing. I just really can't figure it out and I don't think I'm the only one because I know my sister and I have talked about this before. She has a little bit of a struggle figuring out what size specifically fits her. These fit great everywhere except there is a waist gap in the back and I really can't tell if I would like them if they were in a size 24 because I like the way they fit everywhere. I don't know what to do. So I got them in a size 25, which is a zero regular. And like I said, I feel like they fit really well. I love this wash. I actually wasn't sure if this was a pair that I had already ordered. I was confused because on the website it said that this pair was new and I could have sworn, I'm like, this looks so similar to something that I've tried on before. But the second I got it in the mail, I was like, no, I definitely haven't tried out this wash before. The wash that I had tried before in the same style was a little bit bluer and I really like the faded kind of denim. It's a very light wash and I love a busted knee as you guys know. Definitely the regular size as far as like length goes in this specific style is perfect for me. I really like the length on me. And like I said, the wash is just gorgeous but they are a tiny bit big in the waist and I'm really unsure if a size 24 would work for me. And I'm just still kind of confused by Curve Love. Like I don't know if I should be shopping for Curve Love in certain jeans and regular in other. It's all very confusing and I wish I could figure it out. <laughs> now I'll explain further why I am so confused about sizing because these jeans fit perfect and they are the exact same style as far as like the 90s straight ultra high rise but they are different in that they are like a carpenter jean fit perfectly in the waist everywhere else I feel like it's a little too tight so I'm so confused I'm like what what's the right answer like can we just be consistent across the board Abercrombie I love you but what is going on here <sighs> basically what I would say is if you are confused about sizing, I think the best thing to do, unless you wanna order multiple sizes online and just return which ones you don't like, I'd say go into the store and try them on because I have definitely tried on several pairs of jeans. Like you guys can see here, these don't fit me in the waist too big and these fit me perfectly in the waist, but everywhere else, they're just a little too snug. I wish I could figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, so these are the carpenter kind of style, which is so cute. They have that little kind of tug thing. Again, I think I mentioned this before. This is like for the hammer technically, right? If it was like an actual pair of carpenter jeans. It also has that cool like kind of cargo looking pocket on the other side. I really like the style of these, but I'm not going to lie. I don't I'm not obsessed with the wash. I think the wash is just a little too light wash on me, but I really do like the style of these. Also, something that's different is the pockets back here have like straight lines, which again, I think is kind of just like going for that kind of carpenter style, but they're really comfortable on, I will say. Like the denim feels nice and like stretchy, but stiff at the same time. So I do recommend these if you guys like a super light wash. Like I said, they're just a little too light wash for me. All right, let's move on to some sweatshirts that are actually from the men's section. I love Abercrombie's men's section. I have been buying Brian so many pieces from the men's section and he is absolutely in love with Abercrombie. He loves nothing more in the world than just to be really comfortable like me. 
Um, so he loves all of Abercrombie's materials. He's just, <laughs> the second I buy him like t-shirts or a sweatshirt from there, he's like, can you buy me more please? Cause he just, that's all pretty much he wears now. He wears Abercrombie shorts, Abercrombie shirts. He loves it. So we have a convert here. Anyways, I had to pick up this sweatshirt because it is the sun's. And if you guys didn't know, I'm from Phoenix, originally born and bred here. And I'm not much of like a huge sports fan, but I do love the Suns. And I didn't watch any of the like March Madness, it's not March Madness, but I can't think of what it's called. See, I know nothing about sports. I guess the NBA Finals, is that what I'm trying to say? Um, I didn't watch any of them this year, except for randomly at a restaurant when I was at a birthday dinner. I was watching the Suns lose and it was really depressing. Um, but last year when we almost won the championship, I was like hooked. Like I wanted the Suns to win so bad. But every time now that I see like anything Suns related and it's like a comfy material, I'm going to grab it just cause like, it makes me feel, I guess it's another moment for me to be a poser, but still rep my city. So I don't have to, I don't have to explain myself. I wear Yankees hats all the time. Like I'm a poser, I'm fine with it. <laughs> but I just really liked the design of this one. And weirdly, like just seeing it flat, it's like, yeah, it's cute. But for some reason on, I think it is so much cuter on. So this will be a sweatshirt that Brian and I are sharing. I got it in a size large. He will for sure be like, no, that's mine. But I will absolutely be wearing it. You guys, it is so freaking comfortable on the inside. Like I can't even. All of Abercrombie's, like especially the men's section, I would say like just their sweat material overall, it's all really freaking comfortable. And I bought a pair of sweat shorts from Abercrombie. I actually bought like three pairs of them a few years ago and their sweat material has had a major upgrade since then because those are not nearly as comfortable as their materials now. So I really love this. It's so cozy. I would love to just be wearing it right now. This is another one that I actually got, I think I got it last month, but I hadn't shown it to you guys. And I love this one, probably equally. That other one is slightly more because it's actually the right size. This one's a little big on me. Um, I did get it in a size extra large and it is like already an oversized fit so it's just massive on me but it is incredibly cozy and i love the graphic on it so it's the new york knicks and once again i don't watch basketball but i really like how it feels on and i think it looks really cute so i'm gonna wrap it okay so i also picked up some bodysuits abercrombie has a great bodysuit selection they just have amazing basics in general and like I mentioned before, just everything is so comfortable. So first off, I picked up these bodysuits from the Soft A and F collection. These are like a really stretchy, nice compression ribbed bodysuit. And I love how it fits on. It's very comfortable. It's really nice and snug on the body. And Penny is snoring. This is a recording. This happens every single time I film, I swear. <laughs> But I really like this one. Like I said, it is ultra stretchy. I picked it up in white as well, hoping that it would be thick enough to where I don't have to wear a bra with it. And I'm sad to report this material is a little too thin, but I still really love the fit of it. So I might just hang on to it, even though can't get away with the no bra situation. But these also are a thong bodysuit with snaps, which I always appreciate. And like I said, I just really love the fit. It looks so flattering on the body. And then I also picked up this sweater material. I know I'm so boring. I just get like white and black in everything, but they are just like the easiest colors to style. And honestly, I feel really good in both of those colors. So I'm not gonna apologize. I'm just gonna keep grabbing my black and white basics but I love how this feels on the body. This is just like the coziest sweater material. And this is a perfect little bodysuit from moving from summer into fall because it is a bit of a heavier weight to it. So it keeps you a little bit warmer for those like cooler summer nights. And then moving into fall, you can style this with like a chunky cardigan or a denim jacket, maybe a little blazer or something. And I really like this one as well because 
it has that kind of like dressy look to it, but you can totally style it down as well. So I'm definitely a fan of that bodysuit. Same thing, snaps, thong bodysuit. So check, 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 checking all the boxes. <laughs> all right, lastly, <laughs> I actually showed you guys these little quilted shorts in the last Abercrombie haul I did but I actually decided to exchange them for a size small instead and because I loved how they felt on my body so much, I picked them up in a different color as well. This is the kind of like cream white color and I have to report, I have been wearing these nonstop. I swear the second I do laundry, they are already on my body and you know, three days later, I'm gonna have to do laundry again because I just wanna wear them. I'm actually upset at myself that I didn't buy one for like every single day of the week and really I should have probably bought like 10 pairs total because I'm horrible at staying on top of doing laundry every week and I just love these. They're so comfortable. There's one of these pairs that I literally wore three days in a row and then wore them to bed and finally decided like okay I need to put these in the wash. They're that comfortable. And I really like the fit as well. I could totally see myself also styling these for like running errands around town and obviously just being real cozy at home too. So I definitely recommend sizing up. I'm normally a size extra small at Abercrombie, but I like the kind of like oversized, a little bit baggier fit of the small instead on me anyway. These are like a quilted sweat material and they do have pockets in them. They're just ultra comfortable elastic in the waist. I like how the legs are like a little bit baggier and they also do have that little slit in the sides as well. Trust me, they are so comfortable and you absolutely need them. And I also believe they came in like a dark gray color as well. All right, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Abercrombie haul. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece from this haul was. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.